Today's topic is occupational asthma. Occupational asthma is a lung disorder in which substances found in the workplace cause the airways of the lungs to swell and narrow. This leads to attacks of wheezing, shortness of breath, chest tightness, and coughing. These substances may cause asthma in one of three ways. 1. An allergic reaction, like people with allergies who develop allergic asthma. 2. An irritant reaction, like a person that reacts to smoking with asthma. 3. A reaction which results in the buildup of naturally occurring chemicals, such as histamines, in the lungs, resulting in an asthma attack. Symptoms Occupational asthma symptoms are similar to those caused by other types of asthma. Asthma symptoms start when your lungs become irritated or inflamed. Signs and symptoms may include wheezing, sometimes just at night, coughing, shortness of breath, runny nose, nasal congestion, eye irritation and tearing, chest tightness. Causes In people who have sensitive airways, asthma symptoms can be triggered by breathing in substances called triggers. Many substances in the workplace can trigger asthma symptoms, leading to occupational asthma. The most common triggers are wood dust, grain dust, animal dander, fungi, or chemicals. Diagnosis As we know that diagnosing occupational asthma is similar to diagnosing other types of asthma. However, your doctor will also try to identify whether a workplace substance is causing your symptoms and what it may be. An asthma diagnosis needs to be confirmed with lung or pulmonary function tests, an allergy skin prick test, your doctor may order blood tests, x-rays, or other tests to rule out a cause other than occupational asthma. Some testing done for lung function are spirometry, peak flow measurement, treatment. Medications include long-term control medications, inhaled corticosteroids, reduce inflammation and have a relatively low risk of side effects, leukotrien modifiers. These controller medications are alternative to corticosteroids. Long-acting beta agonists, or LABAs, open the airways and reduce inflammation. For asthma, LABAs generally should only be taken in combination with an inhaled corticosteroid. Combination inhalers. These medications contain an LABA and a corticosteroid. Quick relief short-term medications. Short-acting beta agonists. These medications ease symptoms during an asthma attack oral and intravenous corticosteroids. These relieve airway inflammation for severe asthma. Long-term, they cause serious side effects. Prevention. If you smoke, quit. Get a flu vaccination. This can help prevent illness. Avoid non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs or NSAIDs and other medications that may make symptoms worse. Lose weight. For people who are obese, losing weight can help improve symptoms and lung function. Thank you for watching our video. Please do not forget to like and share the video. Also, please subscribe to the channel to stay updated on our latest videos.